Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Ty with xkeen.com. Hit you with another video today. In today's video, I saw this question on Quora I want to answer is to the question, how do you get people to trust you? Excuse me, how to get people to listen what you're, you're telling them, how to get how you get people to um, buy what you're selling, how you get people to trust you as a go-to person to listen to, how to get people to follow you, how to get people to do a lot of things. And this this is my take on it. Um, the internet has gotten, made it where it's easier to be more transparent. Um, because, there's my camera here. Because people nowadays can show what you have or what you're about. Because back in the day, I say about maybe maybe 10 years ago, the people who made money online had these big Ferraris and all these women and big houses. You saw it on a um, you saw it on the on a landing page or saw it on an ad. But 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 do you see that these, those ads don't work no more? I mean, some people still do it, but you you see where you don't see the big mansions and those fancy cars, and you don't you don't see those no more. You see more people on ads with suits or in front of computers, or it's more transparent now because anybody can look you up and go to YouTube channel, go to your website, and see who you are. So the internet is getting better being more transparent towards people so how do people to trust you the number my my recommendation is make videos and create a youtube channel or you have one whatever that you decide to be in make sure that you're transparent you you tell you get people good value you give people good content so that shows your character also, giving people personal stories about yourself um, that also sheds a separate light because you know there's two people of there's two people of there's two of you. There is the there is the online person, the what YouTube person, and the real life person. You know, so like LeBron James, for example, there is like LeBron on Instagram and on the TV, and there's LeBron on at home. Two different people, so. We, we see him on Instagram, whatever, but I'm pretty sure he's totally different at home. So you got two versions of yourself. So it's, it's, it's good to show people the other side of you. Give people personal stories. Give people your struggles. Give people things that you're worried about, that you're nervous about. To show a different side of you besides giving content. And YouTube is the perfect place to do that. YouTube is your face. It's you. It's what we're talking about. It's, it's a lot. If you show your family on YouTube, they show your home on YouTube, and if people, one thing I do like, if people show their home, and they'll have a room where they shoot videos, and it's the same room, and they see the same car in the yard, and the same house, and they look legit, it's more, it's more relatable. It's more realistic. So YouTube will be a good place. Uh, of course, blogging is another one. Excuse me, but you have to give value, great, great content, um, and let people know who you are. Let people know who you are and what you stand for. Now, as far as selling, if you want to sell things, people got to know who you are. And when, you, when you're doing YouTube, the one thing I do not like with these affiliate markets on YouTube. Okay, so here's one thing I don't like that I don't trust. When I look up an affiliate product or like a review, Blogging is great, but with YouTube, they got they get these get these guys up there or and girls that will do a video of an affiliate product. Type in the affiliate product from Clipbank, whatever. You see somebody with a ten minute video, and out of a ten minute video, the first six minutes of the video is about bonuses, you know, and I hate that. I really do. I hate that. You pre-selling me before I get to what I want to buy. It's like I want to buy some shoes, but you go show me. I got these shirts. I got these socks. I got these shorts. I got these shirts. I got these, these, these for free. But I came to buy some shoes. I didn't come to buy shirts. I came to buy shorts. So these guys, I, I don't like that. I, I really don't like that. I, 
I understand the bonuses make extra money, but don't have 35 bonuses for one product. I mean, I never seen somebody who give up a half a million dollars of free stuff for a ten dollar product. I never seen that. It is annoying. I'm like, so I spend ten dollars on this, and you give me all this for free. You know what's the so what's the true value of these free items you're giving me? Because if this product costs twenty five dollars, but you gave me fifty five hundred items that's free, why is why are you getting to me for free? And you spend half the video talking about your bonuses and if you're signing with me today, I'll give you this one, I'll give you that one, I'll give you this, I'll give you that, I'll give you this. You also get this, that and the third. i also give you a call uh, on a live stream, I'll give you this. And you get 10 copies of these, you got, uh, I'm gonna double it for you, you get triple the amount. I don't trust that. I'm not saying those guys are giving out bad products, but I don't, I, you, you're not enticing me to buy. When you can get there's a thing called too much free stuff, too much free stuff. Okay, you, you gotta value the product. A product costs twenty dollars. Why are you selling it so much stuff for you know for free? So that's just me personally. But that's how you people to, to to trust you. Don't go out there and like get people a thousand bonuses worth a half a million dollars for a thirty five dollar product. I don't trust that. Do the review, do the article. And if you got a bonus, nothing wrong with that. If you got a bonus, but don't give it to me in the beginning of the video. Do one bonus beginning and the rest of them at the end. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it because they know people don't stay around to the end. But I came here for the review. I didn't come here. It's like you it's like you go to a YouTube video, type it in, but they have 10 pre-roll ads before the video. Like why? One or two is enough. So that's how people to trust you. Let them know who you are, who you, who you stand for. Show transparency. Tell people your weaknesses and your strong points. Be on video. Um, give people great value, great content, and show what you're doing. Like like before my other videos, John Chow said he does a video a day, a blog post a day. I could easily go to his YouTube channel. I can go to his blog and look. A new blog post, a new YouTube video. So whatever he's saying, he preaches what he teaches. So he he's saying do thing, do this, and he's doing it. That that makes you more credible. It makes you if I go to his YouTube channel and there's no, no more posts, I go to the blog. There's a new blog post in a couple of days, and I'm like, well, John John said do a blog post a day, but he he ain't doing it. See, that's 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 hypocrisy, hypocrisy. So. Whatever you do, you stand by it. If you do a video a day, everybody expect a video a day. If you do this, and, and make a schedule. If you say, everybody, look, I do a video on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I got a new video live. I got a new blog post every Friday. Make sure you have the content ready for them because they'll be looking for that video. They're going to be looking for that blog post. Trust me. They're going to be like, where's the video? John Chow, I look for it every day. I, I want to see a video. You say video every day. You, you preach, do it every day. He got to do it too. That, that's the number one thing that will help. Make a schedule. Tell people what your schedule is, okay, and follow through it. Because now you're telling them the truth. Now, people give you a little bit of trust. People, okay, well, he did say he do one once a day. So, now I see... Uh, what he's talking about? He doing it once a day. I gotta do the same thing. So that's a, that's a, the best way of doing it is make a schedule, stick by it, and tell the people who watch the video, hey, I do a video uh, twice a week, Mondays and Fridays every week. So look at my video every Monday and Friday for a new video going live on YouTube, and people will look for that video when that day comes because they want you hold you accountable and. If something happened, you can't shoot a video, make a video and say, look, I didn't get a chance to do it Friday. So-and-so happened, and that creates value too. So-and-so happened, but I'm going to double it up. I'm going to go back on track. That's how you get people to trust you. Um, be honest. Stick to a schedule. Stick to the script, and you'll be all right. My name is Tyler. That's Thanks for watching.